Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Thursday. That snowy cat hiding under the prayer there. We're going to begin with our morning prayer, so please join me. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious God, thank you for blessing this school with your grace and everlasting love. Guide us to become a community working together to live out our Catholic values. You have showered us with blessings so we may be dedicated Catholic Christians, caring community members, diligent lifelong learners, globally aware and responsible citizens. O oh Lord, continue to guide us to believe, become, and belong in our St. Lawrence Martyr family. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, we're beginning a little bit differently today. I'm not reading to you right now. We're going to start in our um, little workbook here. We're going to take out our Image of God series, and we're going to turn to our next lesson, which is called Prayer, okay? So um, prayer is our way to connect directly to God, and it's a really beautiful thing. This is a puzzle here, so what you have to do is color by number, and it, it gives you a um, code up at the top of the page. So right there, you have blue, and it says, down here at the bottom, by the way, it says, this is on page 30, it says, the Bible helps us learn about God, our Father, okay? And um, I'm gonna show you a little video next that talks about the Bible right after this. So I'm going to pull out um, my, a blue crayon and I see there's a one right here. Okay, so I'm going to color. And all of this, this is the word holy, H-O-L-Y. And holy means that it's sacred and very connected to God. And then this is Bible, B-I-B-L. And the, and the Bible is our contract with God. There's a lot of stories about God and his miracles in there. And there's, <clears throat> there's um, a lot of good information of how to live your life so that you can be close to God. So um, I'm going to go to the next one, which is pink. Okay, I'm going to pull out a pink crayon. And I'm going to circle all my twos because I'm going to go back and color those. I'm just going to go right here and find all my twos. You know what I think this looks like? What do you think it looks like? Just from the shapes that you're seeing, the very angular shapes. <clears throat> Have you ever seen a stained glass window? Um, this reminds me of maybe like a stained glass window that you might see in a church or in a in a. Um, uh, fancy building. Um, okay, so there's all my twos. Then I need to find my green crayon. Um, let's see. Okay, and then I'm going to find all my threes and circle them. Okay, I'm going to go back in and color the shapes. These are all like this one's a triangle, but then this one, one, two, three, four, that one has five sides, and it's not um, clear exactly what shape it is. But I'm going to go and just mark where all my threes are so I know where they are. And then I can go, and then I'm going to go back after. I'll show you in a minute. And then my fours are all going to be yellow. So I'll pull out my yellow crayon. Do my fours right here. Oh, it looks like the cover of the Bible and the, the back binding of the Bible is going to be yellow. Okay, and then the last color I have is my orange, and it looks like number five is orange. So then what I'm going to do is, okay, so this shape right here where the five is, I color in that whole shape around the number five. Okay, so I'm going to color in the whole shape around this number five. So when I put a little color by the number, it helps me to remember when I go back what color I need to color all of that. So now if I pick up my orange crayon, then I can color this triangle orange. And I can color, this is a quadrilateral here. That's a four-sided shape, but it's not um, exactly a square or a rectangle. So we call that a quadrilateral. Okay, and then I'm gonna keep going. I'll color that triangle and finish coloring my picture. So go ahead and take your time, finish coloring this picture, and then you will see that it's a stained glass window of the Holy Bible that you have colored. And then um, watch the video right after this. It's a quick, it's a quick video about the Bible and how precious it is to us. So enjoy. I hope you like this lesson today.